In celebration of our 15th anniversary, we decided that we were going to feature 15 unique and or emerging artists here on Martha's Vineyard. So today we are celebrating Emmy Brown and her father, Rick Brown. Rick is a boat builder and carpenter, and then Emmy is a mixed media artist who uses the scraps and materials from her father's boat building. I think that my first, my first big project that I really felt like maybe I was on to something was in eighth grade and Sandy Burnett was my English teacher and she had this great project uh, where we could make an altered book and I just went with that and went crazy and never looked back so this love for kind of book art and taking something found and making it into something very different um, was kind of my jumping off point point. and then in high school I was just in Mr. Campbell's class non-stop and in Mr. Bear's classes and ended up going to a liberal arts school and then majoring in studio art, which was a great way to be learning about lots of different things and then able to kind of culminate them into my work. My dad's a boat builder and I've been using all of his scraps for years and years. And so a lot of my work is the same thing, but it just looks different. Um, so you taught me how to use everything Walk that I later. use just about. Wow. And it all riffs off of the same theme, basically. So being on the water all the time, being around boats all the time, a lot of my work has to do with maps, nautical charts, and boats. <laughs> the end of my senior year of college, I had to basically work on a project that would get me into my thesis program. And I was kind of struggling with identity, I guess, as a theme, and just being away from the water for those four years and really missing it and wanting to find a way to explain to people how that feels and what that space is like and just how that looks, I guess. And so I've been obsessed with nautical charts for a while and have been stealing them from my dad and was using those as, as source material. And then also just wanted to use that layer effect to kind of create more than one space together and using a 2D medium of paint and glass and trying to make it 3D. And also something that you could kind of weave in and out of and make different each time. So by rearranging the glass or looking in a different way, things like that. I think I built the first boat on my own in the family basement when I might have been 14 years old and got a compliment from my father for the project and kept going ever since. It's the first time I've tried to sell a boat as art <laughs> and I'm hoping in this economy that might be a little different than trying to sell a boat simply as a boat. But I just hope they have a good time and, and admire what my daughter's been able to accomplish and enjoy the day. To be showing my work here on the island, it just feels like a big full circle kind of situation where I've been kind of trying to explain to people where I'm from and then being able to show my work at home to the people that have made it home is, is really great. So I do this all for them and I love that they're all here to see it. <laughs> I think it's a treasure. It's a wonderful campus. The talent and the energy here is superb. And they let me in, so it must be okay. <laughs> For more information about our events, please go to featherstoneart.org.